In today's video, we're going to be speaking about glycopeptides. Glycopeptides are a high-risk antibiotic class, and there's three examples we're going to be speaking about today. Vancomycin, cyclopenin, and televancin. Vancomycin is the most commonly used antibiotic within this class. So, glycopeptides are bactericidal antibiotics. Bactericidal means that they kill the bacteria, whereas bacteriostatic means they inhibit the growth of bacteria. Generally, this doesn't make much of a difference. In some cases, it may be considered, considered important, for example, when treating an infection with an immunocompromised individual. So how do glycopeptides work? They inhibit the cell wall synthesis. So by inhibiting the cell wall synthesis, they, this leads to lysis of the bacteria, essentially killing the bacteria. So it's active against aerobic and anaerobic gram-positive organisms. Notice, notice that I haven't mentioned any gram-negative organisms here. Its activity is solely against gram-positive organisms. One gram-positive organism that it covers in particular, which is very important, is the fact that it co covers methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA. So it's very important in the fact that it can, it's active against MRSA because not many antibiotics are active against MRSA. Its indications include C. difficile, so you will see it in guidelines to treat patients with C. diff. It's important against endocarditis, surgical prophylaxis when there's a high risk of MRSA. Of course, because I said to you it's a high risk antibiotic, there are some significant side effects associated with glycopeptides. Initially, you have to consider the fact that it can cause nephrotoxicity, ototoxicity, blood disorders, rashes, one rash in particular is Steven Johnson syndrome, which is a life-threatening condition. And if you look at pictures of patients with Steven Johnson syndrome, you'll realize the severity of this condition, as well as flushing of the entire body. So this generalized er erythema over the entire body, which is known as Redman syndrome. So this is associated with glycopeptides. It can be associated with the speed at which you administer the intravenous infusion. So some of the cautions and contraindications associated with glycopeptides include uh, avoiding it in the LSD because of the fact that these patients are at high risk, um, at high risk in, in terms of the fact that generally they may have some renal impairment and it's a nephrotoxic drug. Also, you want to be considering caution in patients with a history of, of auditory problems because of the fact that it causes ototoxicity. It can interact uh, with some ototoxic drugs, such as furosemide. It can also inter interact with nephrotoxic drugs. By interact, really, I'm saying you're increasing that risk. Some of the nephrotoxic drugs include uh, cyclosporin, aminoglycosides, as well as polymyxin antifungals. Now, when considering things that you want to be monitoring for vancomycin or any other glycopeptide for that matter, you want to be considering the side effects that are associated with the medication. So it can cause hepatic and renal impairment, and that's why you want to monitor uh, hepatic function as well as renal function. It can cause blood disorders, so you want to look at blood counts. It, you want to monitor urine analysis and plasma levels. So plasma levels because it has a narrow therapeutic index, as well as the auditory function in elderly patients. So loading doses are required uh, with vancomycin, an example of a glycopeptide, as well as other glycopeptides. So loading doses are required with ticlanin. Now these are required because of the fact that it has a very long half-life and that's why you would load a patient with this. The therapeutic range, the trough level should be between 10 to 15 milligrams per litre and this should be higher for endocarditis or it should be higher for less resistant, less sensitive, sorry, less sensitive strains of MRSA. So strains that are harder to treat or any complicated infections. This summarizes the antibiotic class of glycopeptides. I'll also link another video that I've done on glycopeptides so you can watch that and be more familiar 
with glycopeptides. These are important antibiotic classes, glycopeptides and aminoglycosides. They are high risk antibiotic classes associated, um, associated to the infection chapter and are very likely to come up in the GPHC exam.